Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to another Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song broadcast for October 10th. And uh, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. And so today's topic will be titled, The Windshield and the Bug. Amen. Hold on a second. Let me get to the scripture song here really quick. All right. So before we do the topic, we're going to sing today's scripture song from... Uh, let's see here, we're in Psalm 62, 8 today for this 10th day of October. <clears throat> and so let me press play and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. All right, here we go. Psalms 62, 8. Trust, Trust in, in him, him at all times, times ye people. people. Pour, Pour out, out your, your heart, heart before, before him. him. God, God is a refuge is for us. Selah. Amen. <clears throat> Trust in Him Trust in Him At all times He's in Him Trust in Him Ye people Pour out your heart before Him people pour out your heart before him God is a refuge for us trust in him trust in love amen <clears throat> alright well let's go ahead and do that one more time why not it's good to sing scripture songs and uh, sing out to the Lord. Amen. So press play here. Psalms 62, 8. Amen. Trust in him at all times. <clears throat> you people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. All right, let's go ahead and sing it. Trust in him. Trust, trust in at all times, trust in Him, trust in Him, ye people, pour out your heart before Him, ye people, pour out your heart before Him, God is a refuge for Trust in Him, Selah. Amen. All right, praise the Lord. So let's trust in Him at all times. Praise the Lord. All right, well, we'll try to sing that a couple more times towards the end of the broadcast and get it down, amen. But now it's time for the topic for today. For the October 10th, and the topic again is the windshield and the bug. And our passage is from Ecclesiastes 3 1, and it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Ecclesiastes 3 1. And the author today is WT, that is the initials for, let's see, WT, that would be Brother. Willard Thomas, and it says that he is deceased, gone to be with the Lord, and he was from Gainesville, Georgia. So let's read what, or I'll read to you what Brother uh, um, Willis <clears throat> wrote here about this windshield and the bug. He says, life is a mixture of good and bad, and so we learn from the experiences we've had. The sun shone today, such a beautiful sight. But the storms rolled in with the coming of night. Life is well. All is good. Peace and tranquility in our neighborhood. A friend is dying just down the way. And I saw the sheriff's car earlier today. And so is life up and down. Sometimes a smile and sometimes a frown. Sometimes discouragement, sometimes a tear. And so it has been year after year. 
So accept it, my friend. It will never end. We never know what's waiting just around the bend. Sometimes you are the windshield, happy and smug. Unfortunately, sometimes you are the bug. <laughs> wow, what a what a poem there. Hmm. Well, amen. <clears throat> All right. So, and uh, just to add to that, we know that uh, we can trust in the Lord even in our bad times and times of trouble and times uh, times of uh, uncertainty that we can trust in the Lord. Amen. But uh, it's quite a poem there. Praise the Lord. Uh, so there you go. All right. Well, that's the end of the topic. Uh, not uh, much to that. Uh, just a quick little poem there from from Brother uh, Willis. <clears throat> Amen. All right. So now it's time to get into the Bible reading portion of today's broadcast as we continue through the book of Proverbs. And we're going to be reading chapter 10 today. So if you have your Bible handy, you can turn along with me to Proverbs chapter 10 in your King James Bible. And it says here in verse 1, The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise son, maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating soul, or a prating soul, or fool, excuse me, but a prating fool shall fall. <clears throat> he that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth so a sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. Amen. And that love comes directly from Jesus, who showed us the greatest love of all by going and dying on the cross for our sins, taking on the sin of the whole world and upon his body, and uh, dying and being buried and rose again the third day according to Scripture. Amen. So that's the greatest love ever. It covereth all sins. So if you trust Jesus as your Savior, he'll cover all your sins and give you eternal life. Amen. Free gift from, from God Almighty. <clears throat> all right. Verse 13. From the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there is there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is like worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Hmm. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Amen. <clears throat> It is as sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth, and as smoke to the eyes, so is a slugger to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, amen, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. 
The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the uh, froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. And that is the end of chapter 10 of Proverbs. So we'll put that away and we'll grab today's, or I'll grab today's scripture song book and you can turn your Bible to Psalm 62.8 and sing along again as we sing today's scripture song together with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. So let me go back to the beginning here and press play. All right. Psalms 62.8. <clears throat> trust in him at all times. Yes, let's trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart before we should him. pour out our heart God to him. Is a refuge for us. Amen, he sure him. is. <clears throat> trust in him. Trust in him at all times. Trust in him. Trust in Him, ye people, pour out your heart before Him, ye people, pour out your heart before Him, God is a refuge for us, trust in Him. Amen. All right, let's go back to yesterday's scripture song and sing that one together from John fifteen seven. And let me press play here. Amen. John fifteen seven. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. And this is uh, Jesus' words that were. Talking about abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Okay, now we're going to sing today's scripture song one more time. So we wrap it up. 62, 8. Trust in him at all times. Amen. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Trust in him. Trust in him at all times. Trust in him. In him, ye people, pour out your heart before him, ye people, pour out your heart before him, God is a refuge for us, trust in him. Praise the Lord. All right, well, that'll about uh, wrap it up for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song and Baptist Bread devotional topic. So tomorrow is the 11th Sunday, and tomorrow's scripture song is from John 1, 14. And it says here, And the Word, that's capital W, Word, Jesus, was made flesh, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. 
and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. So that's tomorrow's scripture song, and tomorrow's topic will be titled, let's see here, get to October here. So tomorrow's topic will be titled, Relating to God on Our Terms. So relating to God on our terms. And the passage is from Genesis 4, 3. Amen. And if you'd like to watch this broadcast in its entirety, if you're just joining on the live uh, stream here, uh, we went over this topic of the windshield and the bug and a quick little poem here from uh, Brother, uh, let's see, Brother Willis, I believe it was, or Willard. Sorry, I've been saying Willis. It was Willard. So Brother Willard Thomas. And uh, says he was deceased, so Willard Thomas, I kept saying Willis, but it was Willard Thomas. And he wrote this poem about the windshield and the bug, so you can go back and listen to that. And amen. All right. And if you know somebody that doesn't have Facebook, where well, they can check me out on YouTube, these broadcasts. Uh, post them up on YouTube also on the YouTube page at Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, where you can type in a keyword like Baptist Bread Devotional or... Um, scripture song or something along those lines to look me up that way and uh, subscribe and like and join the channel. Amen. To get uh, more of these Baptist Bread devotionals, you can go back and watch previous ones. There's nothing wrong with that because these devotionals are good for each and every day, not just for the day that, that they're uh, listed as today, but you can apply them to any day. Amen. You can go back and watch one that was uh, videotaped a while back and get something out of it. Praise the Lord. And also have the uh, Bible reading broadcast we'll be doing later on this afternoon, Lord willing. So, hope you come back for that. Amen. And so, uh, until next time, may the Lord richly bless you. And hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your Saturday. Amen. And uh, whatever time of day it is over there, morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, amen. All right. Well, until next time, bye-bye for now. And thanks for watching. Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him. Amen.